Hello, and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the EFB in the iFly 737 Max. We're here in Minneapolis. It's a cloudy, rainy day, which is funny because I just got done doing a stream in Atlanta, and it was a cloudy, rainy day there in Atlanta. So uh, th this video is inspired by Jay Russ, who said, hey, you know what? You should do a video on the EFB for the iFly. And I said, you know what? Might as well do that. People do need some help with the iFly apparently it's all over reddit all over discord and so hopefully this video does help those who are interested let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit itself here of the iFly this is one of my favorite aircrafts in the sim period once it was announced uh, I was super excited because the the Max is an interesting plane it obviously has some histories but it, you know it's a very interesting plane and I very much enjoy it so how do you get this EFB going well I'm going to show you how to set up a route and this route is Minneapolis to Chicago O'Hare and we're going to be using SimBrief to set that up. Well, the very first thing in the iFly you have to do is hit the power button here on the EFB. So I have my uh, different views set up here. This is the one I use for the tablet. So in this page, what you need to do is go down to system page, click on Sim menu and go down to ground support and connect your uh, ground power. Okay, you have to hit the set button. If you don't hit set, nothing happens. Once you have that set, you also need to make sure you have your A cars set up for your SIM brief ID number. And you can get your SIM ID number from SIM brief. So here is simbrief.com. If you don't have a profile, go ahead and make it on up. Go over to account settings, and then you'll see your pilot ID right down here. So we're going to go ahead and set up a flight in sim brief so the airline this is going to be a delta which is call sign of dal we're going to be 516 we're doing in minneapolis so kmsp to o'hare krd in the aircraft type we're going to scroll on down to where we see the 737 max 8 and then we're going to go ahead and click on default and change this to whatever engine livery or engine uh you'd like to use and we're going to be using the default which is the leap 1b28 click on that guy there and then all you have to do is click generate flight this is going to, going to go ahead and generate a flight plan for us and within that flight plan it's going to give us an altitude it's going to give us our runways and it's going to give us our route as well so you can see our route right down here the rochester one and then we're going to land 27 center uh cost index is 40 initial flight altitude 310 so we're expecting a cruising up to flight level 310 today Okay, so the next thing is let's go back here and I like to keep this on ground support. Okay, so now we're going to click on menu. And in the menu section, we want to go to performance and payload and go down to weight and balances. Now, if you don't have this program, I do recommend it. It is called briefing panel. And this brings the sim brief profile information into the briefing panel. I really like this one. It brings it nice condensed view here. It's over on flightsim.to. Now, we're going to go ahead and put in our uh, balances of weight and fuel. So first is passengers. Under payload, we're going to scroll on down to where it says 159. So 159. I'm going to go over the cargo. Cargo is saying 5565. So my math is awfully terrible, especially early or especially during a stream. So I'm going to go ahead and just do some calculations real quick. Divided by 2. That's 2782. So up here at the top, 2782. On the bottom, 2782. Just balance it out, right? We're going to go to fuel. Fuel on board today is going to be 12.995. So over here to trip, go, or sorry, to total fuel, we're going to do 12.995. Taxi out fuel is going to be a what? Well, you go over to raw on here and it brings you down to fuel. So taxi out fuel is going to be taxi Minneapolis 420. So we're going to go ahead and pop in 420. It's almost always 420. I think it always has been 420 for me. So trip fuel is right up here at the top where it says O'Hare 5549. So 5549. Beautiful. Now we're going to go scroll up here and go to payload. And we're going to verify our zero fuel weight is the same. So 1359, 1359. So pretty dang good. We're going to hit set fuel, set the payload, complete. Now this is going to go ahead and load the aircraft for us, which is fantastic. I'm going to go up here at the top and go ahead and get rid of the briefing panel for now. I'm going to turn on the battery switch. Ground power is on. Swing up top here and get the IRSs aligned. 
All right. Now you don't have to do the window heat and all this stuff, but this is steps I like to do right now because I'm for I'm gonna forget these aren't 100% how you do this. This is mostly how to set up the EFB and uh, get your flight set up and the computer as well. So these other steps you can ignore if you like to. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my pro peeps. And then I like to go on down here and do the lights as well. And then this, uh, we're going to set our cruising altitude, which is what? 3-1. So we're going to go put 3-1 there. We're going to arm the emergency exits. We're going to go over here and uh, where are we at? Uh, Seatbelt signs to auto. And this is already just set to default. We're going to go change AFT to on and then bring the APU down to start. So now the APU is going to fire up. Uh, now, in the 737, 700s, 800s, etc., you're going to see a little gauge here. You don't have that here in this aircraft, so you're just going to patiently wait for it to happen. While we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to go down here to the uh, FMC and click on FMC, position in it. We're going to go the next button, grab the GPS left, drop it down here, go to previous page, and drop it here in the position. After that, we're going to click on route. And now they have a good route. Uh, we're going to request the flight plan. We click that button. This is going to pull it from SimBrief, which is fantastic. It does a really, really good job at bringing the correct information over. And you just kind of patiently wait for it to show up. You're going to see load, hit that button. Now, now this is going to load it into the aircraft. At this point, I like to do the RTO. Again, this is not 100% procedures how you do it. This is just how I like to do it. Runway, well, let's go ahead and check out our briefing panel. Our briefing panel is going to bring our route right down here at the bottom. That's 12 left is what we're expecting. Now, if you're using ATC, you may get something different, so keep that in mind. And our call sign is Delta 516, at least for this flight. So Delta 516. We're going to pop that right up here. We're going to click Activate, Execute. Once you have that set, we're going to go to Performance, in it. In this plane, they updated it, which is fantastic. The zero fuel weight, you can tap on that, and it drops it in there automatically for you. The reserves, you can get over here on Payload. So in here, we scroll on down to reserves, and that's right here, 2.1 is what we're gonna type in, so 2.1, bam, beautiful. Cruise index, or cruise altitude is already in there, cruise weather, so that's gonna be up here, the average is gonna be 213 at 25, is what I like to use. And then the ISA deviant is going to be 14. Bam, you see how nice and beneficial this little program is here? Fantastic. N1, let's go check that. Takeoff information, we scroll right over here to our tablet, we're on the takeoff screen, we copy the information from the EFB. Well, we're currently kind of wet here in Minneapolis. We're gonna change that on, change that on over. We're gonna go to flaps five. AC is gonna be on, anti-ice is gonna be off because it's raining, but it's not cold. Calculate it, it's gonna say N1's not available. Interesting, so you have to drop the weight for some reason. Not quite sure why it's saying that. Um, let's see, wait, good. Calculate again, let's see what happens. Takeoff N1 cannot be calculated. Select a different flap or uh, D rate thrust. Okay, that's fine. So let's try a different flap. Let's try a flap one for departure. Okay, flap one is good, beautiful. So flap one for departure, we're gonna do a, a D takeoff one, or sorry, uh, yeah, D takeoff is gonna be just the first one and then 31 for the temperature. So down here, you can see first one's already selected by default. And then what was the temperature again? That was 31. So type in 31, bam, there. So we're gonna be at flaps five departure out of Minneapolis here. So flaps five, or sorry, sorry flaps one departure, right? Yep, so flaps one. So instead of normally five, you type in one up here. Type on, uh, tap on the uh, center gravity and it's gonna automatically pull it 5.3 and 5.29, so pretty darn close. I'll take it. And then if you tap on the V speeds, it will automatically generate those for you. Cool, right? Pretty simple and easy. The final step we're gonna do is here in the departure information and arrival. So into departure, click on that. Runway 12 left is already selected for us. We're doing the Rochester departure. So we click on the next button, the Rochester one. And let's see, so we don't have anything else to put in we don't have any transitions so we're gonna go ahead and just go execute you can see we're going direct to zipper at this point i'm gonna go to uh departure and arrival again over to arrival for our hair and we're gonna type in 27 center for the arrival so up the next page next page 27 center is right up here 
we're doing this transition here so tap on that guy there and then we're doing the zipper so let's go on down here and we're going to tap on that guy there so we have both of those selected execute and now if we look at our legs click on that our route is selected and all is looking grand inside there beautiful the fb is ready to go that's it you are now ready for pushback and engine starts you can clear out of that guy there and let's just go ahead and do a quick engine start. So we're gonna go up here to the top. We can see our APU is available. So our gens are available. We're gonna go ahead and select APUs are on. I'm gonna go to the fuel pumps on, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn on our yaw, yaw damper to on. I'm gonna go to pump, hydraulic pumps are on as well. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our ground power. So we go to menu, system page, and it brings us right back to that ground support which is very nice that's why i like to go back to this page hit disconnect hit set if i hit menu performance it brings us right back to where we left off here so as long as you keep those ones up it's fantastic and then we can go up to the top here we can go apu bleed on go to ground power engine number two we're gonna go ahead and fire on up this takes just a few moments to get going once you see that 24% here in the N2, you can go ahead and introduce some fuel, get your pushback going, and you'll be flying in no time in the 737 iFly Max. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you for the next, next one. As always, take care.